Hello there, great to see you. So this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online and in today's advanced video, we're gonna be focusing on our upper body. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing three different exercises using weights today. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do three different segments of different exercises. Then we'll do a bit of cardio and then we'll do these uh, three sets again, a second time through. So what we'll need today for the video is uh, some water, we're gonna need your weights, and a little bit of space. All right, so we're gonna get started right away. All right, so keep those weights handy. We're gonna start with a warm up before we get going. And I encourage you to start by marching on the spot. We're going to be warming up that body. And I hope you guys are enjoying our advanced workout videos. So you can definitely go back, make sure you check out the videos from the past year if you're looking for anything specific, but uh, especially as we roll out into year number two of the membership and beyond, we're gonna have uh, some really good, more challenging videos for you. So I do encourage you to really listen to your body as you're going. All right, from here, we're gonna be stepping to the side, swing those arms in and out. And let's keep those shoulders back. Remember our warm up is to really move that body in different ways so that you're ready for uh, the weight portion of the workout. All right, change those arms, reaching to the side. Focus on that breathing as well. All right, excellent. From here, we're gonna be tapping one foot in front of the other, tapping that toe. Good. And then from here, we're gonna add a kick, kicking across, kicking to the sides, really stretching those hips and outer thighs. Change the arms, we'll take the arms the other way. Great. Very good. Let's do three and two. And one. All right, from here, let's bend those knees back, kicking and circle your, those shoulders backwards. So in today's video, I won't be using a chair for the workout, but if you do find that you need to sit at any point, be sure to have a chair that you can uh, sit down and you can still work your upper body in a chair as well. All right, very good. Finally, let's bring your legs right in front, lifting the knee, tightening up the core, reaching that hand to your opposite knee. Make sure you continue to stand nice and tall. All right, looks good. Now, if you want to take it a bit further, bring your elbow towards that knee. In and out. Remember, your knee doesn't actually have to touch the elbow, which is good news. We want to bring it towards the other. And let's go for three, and two, and one. All right, excellent. Good, so from here, let's keep those feet moving. We're gonna do a few more upper body stretches just because we're gonna be focusing on our upper body today. So keep your toes tapping, and let's circle those arms back. Lifting those elbows nice and high. All right, very good. Let's continue with the arms and we're gonna continue and change up those legs, tapping the heels to the floor. And so notice a nice stretch between your shoulder blades. for three more per side, two, and one. All right, that's awesome. Let's take the arms to the side and do some arm circles. Now what we'll do here is we're gonna be tapping your toes out to the side. Good way to warm up those hips. Right. So the 
arms. You can keep them low or take them a little bit higher if you want to challenge yourself a bit more. Since this is our advanced video, I'm encouraging you to challenge yourself today. Okay, very good. Let's do three more circles. Two and one. Now we're gonna change directions, but this time I want you to find your balance. So tighten up your core, bend the knee, that leg you're standing on, and find that balance. Hold it here. Now I do find sometimes it helps to loop your foot behind the other leg. So you can give that a go. Or if you find you're more balanced with your leg in front of you, you can try that too. All right, now look up as you do this. Three two, one, and then let's do the other leg. So lifting in front, here we go, continue to circle the arms back, or take the leg and lean it against the other. All right, great job. Let's go for three, two, and one. All right, way to go. So let's grab those weights and move into our first workout with the weights. All righty. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing three different exercises and we're gonna be doing them twice through. So let's start with our arms at your side. And you guys know the bicep curl. Let's do both arms together. So nice and easy, weights to your shoulders, press over top. Pause in front of your shoulders and lower down. So just think about giving your elbows a little bit of space. So we don't wanna be squeezing our elbows into your body at all bit wider than your, your torso if you can. All right, so we're working the front of the arm as we lift and then as we press overhead, working our shoulders. Breathing in and out, in and out, in, out, and out. Now a few of you have mentioned that you really appreciate when I tell you how to breathe, so I will be making um, a, a conscious effort <laughs> to let you know that as we go. All right. And also for these uh, advanced videos, we'll be doing um, between 15 to 20 repetitions of the exercises. So just be prepared for that. All right, let's go for four more. And three. Last two. And one more time. All right, excellent job. So give those shoulders a little shake. That's great. Our second exercise we're gonna do is for the back of the arms, the triceps. So what I'll do is I'm gonna show you um, what you can do, you've got two options. You can do one arm at a time. Um, what I encourage you to do though is to do both arms together. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna start by bending, taking one leg in front of the other. Bend those knees just a bit. Hinge at your hips, we're leaning forward. We're gonna start by bending your elbows to lift the weight up, straighten and extend the arms back. So bring them up and extend the arms back behind you. All right, so as you're taking the arms behind, you should feel your triceps tightening up. Think about giving them a good squeeze as you press back. And also take your time with this one. Try not to just simply swing your arms, but we really want to be intentionally pressing back. Pushing behind. All right, good. Also, I like to just look towards the floor. It's a little bit more gentle on your neck. Great. Now, like I mentioned, you can do one arm at a time. That's totally possible too, up to you. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Breathing in. Breathing out for two. And one. All right, good, so you should feel that one right in the back of the arms, that's awesome. Again, give the shoulders a bit of a shake. Shake it out. All right, and 
then our, our third exercise we'll focus on is uh, replicating pouring some water. So we're gonna do one arm at a time and you can just pretend you're holding onto a water glass. And then keep your arms bent, keep your, your arms at your side. Um, you're doing the other arm. All right. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, breathing out as you release. This is a really good one for your shoulder and the sides of your arms. All right, now if you do want to double up, you can. You can do both arms together. And I do recommend bending your knees slightly. That can help to ease any pressure that's on your back. And let's go for five more. And four. Three, two, and one. All right, good job, that's great. So let's set those weights down just for a sec, out of the way, and we're gonna do a quick cardio. So let's go do a bit of marching on the spot. Our goal is to get that heart rate up, and then we'll go into our next three exercises. All right, so we're gonna go for 30 seconds. You can march it out, or you can do a light jog. So listen to your body. Breathing in and out, 30 seconds. Good, remember to keep those shoulders relaxed and back. All right, we're almost there. Excellent job. Another five, four, three, two and one and we'll step it out all right so notice how that heart is doing you may notice i just got a new smartwatch for my birthday and it is awesome i'm clear i just got it yesterday so i'm excited to check it out but it's going to be tracking steps sleep heart rate all of that so uh, so in some of the upcoming videos, you may see me referring to it and even letting you know how many steps um, you may, or how many calories you may burn per video. So that would be kind of fun. All right, we're gonna do one more round of cardio. Marching it out or jogging it out. Another 30 seconds, ready? Here we go. All right, getting our heart rate up. This is our advanced video where we're pushing ourselves. Got this. Breathing in and out. All right, pump those arms at your side. Tighten your core. 10 more seconds. You've got this. Last five, four, three, two, and one. And step it out again. Gonna take a few deeper breaths in and out. Excellent. All right, good. So before we move into our next round of exercises, grab some water. Good to stay hydrated. All right, and let's grab those weights again. All right. So for the first exercise here, we're going to be holding on to both weights in front and doing our front row. So it looks like this, lifting both elbows nice and high and then lowering those arms. So just watch that your elbows go higher than your, your weights and then slowly lower and straighten the arms down. Now for the breathing, we want to remember to exhale on the effort. So when we're lifting, we want to breathe out. So breathe in first, breathe out, lift, breathe in, down, and out. So it does tend to be opposite. <laughs> we tend to think, I want to breathe in when I'm lifting. And you can, there's nothing wrong with breathing, period. As long as you're breathing, I'm happy. If you want to get really technical, um, there's more oxygen that goes to your muscles when you're exhaling on the effort. All right, good job, you guys. Feeling those arms, and especially your shoulders working. 
five to go. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, good. Give those shoulders a shake. That's awesome. All right, our next one we're gonna do is with your arms at your side and lift those arms up. So slowly lower down and lift. No higher than your shoulders. Again, you wanna breathe out as we lift. Inhale down. Exhale. And inhale. All right, awesome. This one you should feel in all the way up and down those arms. Feel those arms working. You did such a great job. All right, let's go for four more. Three, two, and one. All right, awesome job. That's good. Now set the weights down for just a sec. Circle those shoulders backwards. Do this every once in a while. <laughs> Great, well done. And let's grab those weights again. Last one. Now, if you are looking for a really good way to pick up the weights, I find one of the best ways is to have one leg in front of the other and then bend, hinge at your hips, lean over, and then press up through your legs. Watch that you don't round your back too much. We want to really lift with our legs as much as possible. All right, so our last one is this. Have your weights in together, elbows tucked in, and we're gonna be squeezing your shoulder blades back together. Squeezing back, and bring those weights back in. shoulder blades back. Now the other option is to take the arms a little further out. So still keeping a slight bend in your elbows, but you can lengthen the arms a little further out, longer lever. You'll feel this a little bit more in your back and your arms and shoulders too. All right, good job. Let's go for five and four. Three, two, and one. All right, excellent. Let's set those weights down. We're gonna do another cardio exercise. Make sure they're tucked out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to be doing some jumping jack taps. So this time we're gonna go for 20 seconds. We'll do it twice, twice through. All right, so you have the option to be tapping out and in, reach your arms out to the side or over your head. It's more intense overhead, FYI, but you can choose to do one, the other, or combine. All right, so make sure you're breathing. Work at your own pace. If you do have a, whoop, or do something else. <laughs> if you've had a hip replacement, just limit your tap. Maybe don't go quite as far out. All right. Doing whatever you want with those arms. <laughs> it's a free for all. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, good. Circle the shoulders backwards. Excellent. And we'll do one more time doing our jumping jack tap. All right. Here we go, we'll go for another 20 seconds. Ready, and here we go. Reaching those arms out to the side. Our goal is to get that heart rate up, so go at a good pace. You can choose to lift those arms overhead if you'd like. Good, and 
Let's stop there. All right, circle those shoulders backwards. Excellent job. All right, so we are gonna go through these exercises one more time through. So grab those weights again. We're gonna go right from one to the other. So here we go, bicep curl to shoulder press. So all the way to your shoulders, press overhead. Inhale and exhale, breathing in, out, in, and out. Alright, excellent job. Now I find the second time through you usually feel it a little bit earlier on. Notice how those arms are feeling. And also be aware of how, what weight you are using. Now, if you've been using the weight for the past six months to a year, I do strongly suggest that you increase the weight. This will help you to continue to see really good benefits and more results. Often we reach this place, it's called a plateau, where you don't really see yourself improving. You don't feel like you're getting stronger. It's just because you're doing the same thing or using the same weights for way too long. So I encourage you, maybe time to go shopping. <laughs> All right, one more time here. All right, good job. Let's give it a good shake. Next, we're going to our tricep extension. Take one leg in front, change legs. We'll do the opposite leg in front this time. Bend those knees, hinge your hips. Curl the weights up and extend the arms back. Looking down towards the floor, make sure your back is straight. Inhale and exhale. Think about squeezing the shoulders, uh, actually squeezing the back of the arms, the triceps, squeezing as you take the arms back. All right, looks good. Five to go. Four. And three. Two. And one. All right, good. Give it a good shake. Awesome. And then our final of the three is pouring some water. One arm at a time. Lift your elbow nice and high. You can do one arm at a time or you can Double up and do both arms together. And just like this. And breathing in and out. Breathe in, down, breathe up. Breathe up. <laughs> breathe out. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Done. Looks good. Let's go for five. If you're like me, you're probably feeling the arms. They may be talking to you. <laughs> Two more. And one. All right. Good job. Let's set the weights down again. Tuck them out of the way for a sec. All right. We're going to go back to our jaw. We're going to march it out. Let's go for a good 30 seconds. And speeding it up if you can. A little bit faster, getting that heart rate up. Awesome job. All right, almost there, last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, let's step it out. Swing those arms. Great, right, great job. All right, we'll go for one more time. One more time, 20 seconds. Let's go back to that march. Here we go, let's speed things up. Right, so either a quick walk, quick march, or a slow jog. We'll just get that heart rate up. 10 more seconds. Five, four, Three, two, 
and one. Woo, all right, step it out. Excellent job, you're doing great. All right, so let's take a quick sip of water and then we'll move into our final three. those weights again. So we're going to start with our front row. Legs wide, bend your knees a little bit, arms in front, start with straight arms and then as you lift, bend those elbows, lift them high, lower them down. So the breathing, inhale down, exhale lift, exhaling on the effort. Do the opposite like I just did, it's all good. <laughs> and what you will find is as you focus a little bit more on the breathing, doing it um, a specific way, you will find that as you do these videos, as you exercise more, it does become a lot easier. So just be aware. I've experienced that with a lot of other clients. They've been like, oh, I can't even breathe normally. How am I supposed to breathe like this? It does get easier. <laughs> All right, good, let's go for five. Let's do three. And two. And one. All right, awesome job. Let's give it a shake. Move right into our next one. All right, bend the knees again slightly. Lift the arms up, hands no higher than your shoulders. Just watch that. And it is easy to sometimes do this, where we're lifting one arm a little higher than the other. So just be aware, and if you need to, you can always pause this video and have a look at yourself in the mirror. See what you look like. You may be impressed. You probably will be impressed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Inhale down, exhale lift. All right, we're feeling those arms. I'm sure you are. Let's do five together. And four. Three. Two. And one. All right, excellent job. Give it a good shake. Let's move into our last one. Let's bring those elbows in together, weights together, and take the arms out and in. Option one is keeping the elbows close to your body. Option two is taking the arms further out. Breathing in, breathe out. Now something else to think about is tightening the core. So every time you take the arms out, tighten the core, pull in. Right, feeling this one in the arms and shoulders as well. Now we will do a quick stretch right at the end. Let's do five here. Four. And three. Two. And one. All right, so set those weights out of the way. We are done with them. Have a quick sip of water and we'll do a quick arm stretch. All right, excellent job. So let's start by taking one hand to your shoulder. Bring your hand to your elbow. Press the arm right in, right across. Noticing the stretch here. All right, as we do this, it's good to keep moving. So you can even do a little stretch for the lower body. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, facing the front of the room, and shift from side to side. I do focus on that arm. And I do recommend doing some stretches for your upper body as well tomorrow. Now I find most people usually feel it if they're starting a new workout and if you're just doing the new advanced videos for the first time or even second, it's really important to just notice how you feel the next day, 24 to 48 hours after the workout. All right, let's do the other arm, cross, press it in, good, and shift from side to side. 
an excellent job. This was a great workout today. So I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling energized and that you notice that you feel stronger. Now just know it is advanced. So if today was a little bit, a little bit uh, tough, <laughs> a little challenging, just know that it's designed to be challenging. It's designed for you to do again and again, not just once. So do keep that in mind and be sure to check out my new calendars as well, where you'll be able to see this, uh, this workout being recommended again later on in the month. All right, let's bring the shoulders back. Nice big circles. Good, this feels great. All right, change directions. We'll go the other way. And then we'll bring your hands in together, interlace, and then press the hands away from you. You can lean over slightly, really stretching your back. And bring those arms in, we'll do it again. Leaning over, looking down. Good. Bring the arms in, and then reach down your back. Give yourself a little pat on the back and see if you can Bring those elbows as high as you can. Walk your hands towards each other behind you. Good. Good stretch for the triceps, which we worked today. Awesome. Let's lower the arms, and we're going to do some arms in front. Lifting up and sweeping in front. You may notice that your arms feel a lot lighter <laughs> since using those weights. Finally, let's bring your arms up and let's really give it a good reach. You can lean a little bit to the side, stretching the side of your body. Breathing in and out. And two more. And one. All right, and let's end here with some breathing. Breathe in, reach those arms wide. Give yourself a hug. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more. last one. All right, excellent job today. Give yourself a pat on your back. That was an awesome workout. I am warm. I hope you are too. Hope you're feeling great and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and this is Fit Finley. And we hope you enjoyed this video brought to you by Macaw. Now make sure to check out the other videos on their website and if you're looking for more exercise videos with me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Activities in Motion, AIM Fitness. We hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye!